Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the flow control as well as the error control here. The flow control is a technique. Here we are having the two units. One will be the sender and the other one will be the receiver here. Sender and the receiver are connected with each other using the communication media such as the optical cable. Okay, we know this one that can be with the LAN cable and the coaxial cable. Okay, the name itself telling the flow control here. The flow control between the sender as well as the receiver should be same here. Okay, the sender is having the one processing speed here. The receiver is also having the another processing speed here. Both the processing speeds are matched here. There will not be the any loss of the data. Okay, otherwise what happens? The sender is having the one processor here. The receiver itself is having the another processor. If the sender having the processing speed at one speed here, the receiver is uh, receiving the data at the another speed here. If the both the processing speeds are mismatched here, there will be the loss of the data. Okay, if you control this one flow between the sender as well as the receiver, it is going to be called as a flow control here. The second thing here is that we are going to identify the flow control here. Okay, we are having the set of procedures procedures here that tells the sender how much data it can transmit before it must wait for an acknowledge, acknowledgement from the receiver here. It means that one the sender should identify this one. The, what is the receiver's uh, processing speed here? If the receiver is able to process the hundred packets per second here, the sender should send the hundred packets per second only. Okay. If the, if the sender is sending the 101 packets per second, if the receiver is having the 100 capacity only, the one packet will be lost here, okay? The, the flow of the data should not be allowed to flood the receiver Receiver here. It means that one, as I said earlier, the receiver is having the buffer here. If the packets are come from the sender and that way all packets will be NQ in the buffer here, okay? If, if the receiver is having the buffer space, then only the new packet will come and that will be get stored at the buffer side otherwise that packet will be get lost here due to that the receiver should also be able to inform to the transmitter it means that to the sender here before it exhausts the memory storage here or before it exhausts the processing speed also okay it can be done through the error control as well as well as the cor error correction techniques here one more thing here is that flow control refers to the set of procedures used to restrict the amount of data to the transmitter can send before waiting for the acknowledgement. As I said earlier, we are having the two different methods here for the flow control. One will be the stop and wait protocol method. One more will be the sliding window protocol method here. The next, here's that one diagram explains that one. Here we are having the one sending unit here. One more, we are having the receiver unit here. Okay, when the sender sends the data, okay, it will go to the receiver. Receiver is able to process the data. Okay, until unless it will process the data, it will not tell to the sender. Okay, once the work has done at the receiver side, it will send the acknowledgement here. Until and unless the sender receives the acknowledgement from the receiver here, the sender is going to wait that one that time is going to be called as a waiting time here okay once it receives the acknowledgement the sender assumes that one the receiver is able to receive my receive the new data or the new packet immediately sender sends the new data to the receiver here this procedure will keep on continuous until and unless sender sends all the data to the receiver here the next thing here is that as i said earlier means as i said now we are achieve this one through the full duplex method also okay we can send that one the full duplex in the sense that sender and the receiver can send the data in a 
both the directions here okay sender will the send the data here immediately the receiver can send the acknowledgement to the sender here if the receiver is willing to accept the data sender again immediately it will send data to the receiver here in a both the ways which is going to be called as a full duplex to keep the track of the frame sender station sign sequentially number frames here since the sequence number to be used occupies the field in a frame here it should be of limited size only 